Now we have the tripod set up, and I'll move to showing you what's inside the, inside the case. Um, here we have a loop of coax, the three pieces of the antenna feed uh, feed and support system, which I have uh, which I've pulled out here, um, and uh, the tripod, of course, already set up. That's not part of it. Okay, this is the uh, feed point. The capacitive tuning is in here. You can see this is a plastic uh, knob. There is a set screw in here that touches it, but it's recessed on the order of a quarter inch. So you're not touching anything uh, anything here. You should avoid touching this area, of course, while tuning and setting up. <clears throat> this is the actual uh, this is the actual feed point, the inductive loop coupling, and you can see that that is where the uh, that is where the coax feed is. So this goes at the top. Then this goes in the middle, and this goes at the bottom. Okay, so now that that's set up, we'll take the coax out. The coax comes with two of these Velcro strips, which you undo. And now you want to gently uncurl this and turn it into a circle. Although you can make a magnetic loop out of any type of shape that's closed, such as a square, uh, the area is what really matters, um, and so even though the circumference is the same no matter what you use, um, the maximal area is of course obtained when the result is a circle. So I've taken a few seconds here to kind of straighten this out uh, into a circle, um, and I'll put it on here. Um, this part here, you can see, is where the uh, is uh, this C-clamp is where it attaches. Um, if you look on the top here, you will see that there is a shaved off part. Uh, the shaved off part is uh, where you want to have the coax line. So um, you can see the coax comes out the back here, not the front. Um, so you put the coax um, on second. Oops, it's caught on this. So you put the, uh, the, the back in first, like that, and then slide the coax on. Okay, there we go. Um, now you take this PL259 and put it in the SO239 here, making sure that it's nicely aligned. It can push down a little bit that way from the tension, so you want to support it a little bit to make it straight. Uh, same thing on this side. I'll make sure that it's aligned properly and just screw it on. This is no different than putting on any um, uh, other UHF type connector. You want them to be nice and tight, but don't break it. Okay. For all intents and purposes, the antenna is now assembled. I will take it and put it on top of here. Um, and here's my uh, here's my coax. And voila, the antenna is assembled.